Right YouTube is Shadow King King Nazru. And uh I gotta make a small announcement first. Now due to some technical difficulties with the computer I'm using, with it being a hand me down and being about like I think like five, maybe more years old. Um, I'm not gonna be able to record uh, the new Star Wars: The Old Republic uh, up story update, Echoes of Oblivion. Um, the way I usually did it was to use the Windows Plus G uh, button press to uh, access the Xbox Game Bar, and then I recorded through there. That's how I usually did it. And before that, I just recorded it with my phone, which I'm not going to go back to because not only do I have limited uh, memory space, but I also it was also low quality, and I don't want to go back to that. I want to give you the best uh, option you can I can give. So for the meantime, we're going to have to wait until I can get a new computer uh, before I can, and hopefully that one will allow me to record it ported and then I can do the stories and give all the options uh, so I'm just hoping that all my f subscribers that watch me for my Star Wars The Old Republic content or any other Star Wars stuff uh, just be patient with me and I'll try to upload them as soon as I can now with that out of the way uh, for an alternative content I'm going to talk about this new manga I found that came about a I believe it said July it came out, uh, called Ghost Reaper Girl. Now, Ghost Reaper Girl is written by Aikihiza Aikida, though I hear he's going through a different name now. But if you've been here with me for a long time, you know that Aikihiza Aikida was the man who wrote and drew the Rosario Vampire manga. And as I said before, Rosario Vampire is my second favorite series behind Dragon Ball. At least when it comes to the manga. Because the anime... Ugh, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of the anime version. It was it deviated too far from the manga story, uh, omitted parts, and decided to focus, focus man, mainly on fan service instead of the characters and the, uh, the story. Uh, but let's not get into that mess, shall we? Uh, so anyway, Ghost Reaper Girl basically revolves around um, ghosts escaping from Hades, or basically the afterlife in general. And they say you could also count it as both heaven and hell. So, so you can use it interchangeably. So we, if it was going by Greek mythology, it would be both Hades, would be, would include Tartarus, which would be their version of hell, and the Elysian Fields would be their equivalent to heaven. But let's, but that's semantics. Uh, so basically, the ghosts are escaping the afterlife, and our story focuses on a girl named Chloe, who is a struggling actor trying to get a job, job, and she was. Uh, being interviewed by this producer, or um, and she's really trying to get the part. And when she's reading the resume, that one of her films was Ghost Reaper Girl, which was this like a uh, B movie that focused on the girl fighting spirits, and it didn't do all that well, kind of as B movies usually do. But when the uh, guy starts making advances towards her, she gets a little bit defensive as she didn't want to get uh, sexually violated. And uh, she start, gets a reminder that her agent said to uh, behave on her best because she's had issues with getting hired before and if she has one more incident, she would be fired. And she feels like this is going to be another incident, but it, it turns out that the uh, producer is possessed by one of the ghosts that escape, and she does her best to try to get away from him, <coughs> only for more spirits to try to possess people and try to go after her. But she is luckily saved by a man named Kai, who is comes from uh, Hades, and came to defend her partly 
because he's a gentleman and feels the girl should be protected. And the other part was because he's a lolicon, which means he tends to like girls that look like their children. That's a little that's a little bit of a gray area because of the Japan uh, age of consent is different from America, and it's a okay because Chloe only looks like she's a little girl, but in actuality she's almost thirty. Um, I mean I'm not into lollies because uh that looks way way too close to. Let's not get into that. <sighs> But, um, he basically defends her, and after he thanks, thanks her, he, um, I mean, after she thanks him, yeah, she thanks him, uh, Kai remembers her as the girl from Ghost Reaper Girl and said that was one of his favorite films, and she's kind of surprised by that because that movie didn't do too well, and he was hoping that Maybe they could make the sequel together, and it's a, suggested a little bit sexually, and that also turns her off, and she tries to get away from him as well. But uh, again, the ghosts start to cheat, coming after her because they want to uh, possess her and use her as a medium, and it's kind of uh, implied that she's like uh, she has supernatural. Uh, uh, an affinity for the supernatural, which would make her a powerful host for these spirits, and which is why they want to be interested, want to be interested in possessing her. And they pursue pursue her all the way up until they go into the train station, where ultimately that's where they have their final bout uh, with Chloe asking Kai for help, and Kai coming to her, her protection. But due to him uh, not having a body, he's not as powerful as he as he would be in the spirit world. So he has to use has to have Chloe I mean, allow him to inside her body. Uh, phrasing. To which, uh, in reaction to that, she allows it, and their union allows her to take like a ghost reaper girl form and she's equipped with the Akai who turns into a scythe and they're able to fight off the ghosts and by cutting by slicing through the people but the f damage doesn't actually harm their physical bodies it just releases the spirits and sends them back to Hades and after they defeat the ghosts uh, Kai, uh, says that he wants to make a contract with Chloe, and say that, um, you allow me to, you help me, and help me find these, uh, these wayward ghosts, and I'll help you become an important star. Because that was one of Chloe's goals, she wanted to be a famous star and a famous celebrity, uh, based off her being seeing a poster and also growing up with a rough life. So, all in all, I do think this was a solid start. This plot is simple enough that we can understand. We understand the rules that there's uh, a supernatural afterlife. Uh, our, our protagonist, Chloe, is sympathetic. I mean, she just wanted to... Uh, get an acting career, but it's really hard to do, which I can really relate to because I've had trouble getting jobs before uh, and I've only recently started getting uh, work. Uh, Kai, um, while I'm not really fond of him being a lolly con, um, I mean, there's not much else wrong with him, and he seems like a nice enough guy that he would defend a girl when she's in trouble. And his powers do seem pretty interesting. He seems like a pretty capable fighter. And a lot, and the whole girl uniting with a with another supernatural person to uh, form like a reaper 
that does kind of seem a lot similar to Soul Eater uh, because of uh, Akko, I think that's what her name was, did that. Oh no, I think it's a good series, and I recommend you guys check it out. I'll catch you guys later.